Erie, Pennsylvania. Known for its manufacturing, shipbuilding, and tourist attractions. But there's another part of the city that is not known to most. A community of artists and fans that you almost have to be a part of to fully understand. This is their stories. This time on Inked and Eerie, we go to Tattoo Approved, where Sam Snyder does a back piece on Shannon. I just wanted to be unique. I, I wanted something custom. I wanted something bold. And Melissa Hale returns to the show with an original sleeve in progress. Okay, fucking stop. <laughs> Plus, Mark Swerve gives Tom a special new piece. These stories and more coming up on Inked and Eerie. If you come to Tattoo Approved on the right days, you can find Sam Snyder. He's a freehand artist who prefers to sketch by hand rather than use a template. It's a technique that requires the confidence only years of experience can bring. And the reason Shannon chose Sam for her back piece. You know you're gonna be on television. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Tell me a little bit about what you're getting today, your ink. Um, well, I did a tab out session, got a peacock and a and some blossoms on there, and I'm just gonna enhance that a little bit, make it pop a little bit, add a little more color. Tell me what a tap out session is. Well, I had no idea what it was either. It, uh, they put it on Facebook down at Wildside, and um, basically it's $500 uh, as long as it takes until the tattoo's done or you can't take the paint anymore. So if you tap out, it's over. It's over, and I did not. Wow. And it was you said that was your second tattoo? Yes, my second. Do you, what was your first one? Uh, the first one is up on my shoulder. It's just a, like a four by four, uh, some flowers and a butterfly. So you went from getting a, like a s pretty small tattoo to getting a pretty big tattoo. Huge, right. Yep. What what made you make that decision? What made that leap for you? Um, I just wanted to be unique. I, I wanted something custom. I wanted something bold, and because that's me, I'm bold. So that's what I ended up with. Sam, you're not using a stencil. No, we're uh, Tell me what you're doing. Uh, freehand it. We start out with some light markers to get the basic sketch in there, and then we refine it there with another, like say, a, a mid-tone marker, and then we go to the darker marker, like a red or a purple, uh, and refine it even more. And then once we get on the skin, we refine it for the fourth time. So by the time I'm done drawing it, probably three or four times. Um, we're going to end up doing a sun, maybe some clouds in the background. We're going to keep it real soft uh, and tie into what she's got already. How long have you been doing ink? I uh, got an interest back in 91. Went and got a tattoo. I was hanging out with a bunch of bikers. And I was hooked. I was done. That was it. Uh, I said I was going to do this for the rest of my life. I've been doing it for close to 20 years professionally now. What inspired you to get into it in the first place? Um, I've always been able to draw. I'm not the greatest in the world. I'll never claim to be, but um, I've always been able to draw. And when I got the first tattoo, it just seemed like a ton of bricks hit me right in the face. I was like, let's do it. it. Seemed like the thing to do at the time. Located side by side in Waterford, PA, the owner of Brass Betty Armory doesn't have far to go to work with Melissa Hale at Love Letter Tattoo. Mike, what's up? Um, this is a continuation of my theme from uh, my surf expedition that was in Costa Rica. Um, Salvador and Panama and this is the entire uh, scheme that I was looking at what I was admiring in the jungle between the flowers the surf and the locals that gave me inspiration of losing myself and finding myself at the same time um, it was an extreme of knowing that I had no help when I was by myself surfing and it was my salvation when I realized I didn't need any help. It was all beautifully done by 
blending and fading and no line work except in the uh, the hummingbird that I only saw once uh, on the passion flower and you're gonna finish it today yes I hope well no it probably won't be finished today continuing it today it is continuing Melissa Hale what's up <laughs> Another day in paradise. Tell me about what you're doing today. Um, today I am working on a sleeve in progress and it has to do with my good friend here and his journey through Puerto Rico and oh. representing all the beautiful things that he saw in nature. So we're tattooing his armpit because his sleeve and his rib cage are already completed and the armpit is a big empty space that just has to be done. You did this whole thing, right? You did the whole arm. I did the whole thing. How do you approach something like this when Mike comes to you and says, I had this incredible journey and I have all these visions in my head and I have all these things I saw. What was the first thing you did to, to you? How do you even get started on that? Um, when I get started on a, a big piece like a sleeve, I ask that you send a folder of reference material, uh, maybe pictures that you've seen or pictures you've taken, even better and anything that represents what you like and even examples of what you don't like are also good because that helps me get a clear image of what you're after and what you're looking for. So with Mike I asked him to put together all the photos that he had taken on his journey and explain to me the things that he thought were really beautiful and what he might want to carry with him the rest of his life and uh, we came down to what we've put on his sleeve, things that would translate properly into a tattoo. Uh, some of the flowers he wanted were a little too exotic and they're beautiful in a photograph but as far as the tattoo would go it really wouldn't make sense because not enough people have seen it to understand what the image is going to be. So this is what we came up with and we're here to finish his armpit. Are you going to be freehanding it? No, he already has a, I won't be freehanding it, he already has half of the outline taken care of because we started that in a previous session and he tapped out because it's a really painful area. So today we'll be picking up where I left off, the outlines are already there, and we'll be filling in as much as we can. When we come back, Sam Snyder goes freehand with Shannon. A girl with a gun makes a gun shop owner tap out. And another Mark Swervey original with Tom. My situation is fucking dang that. Coming up on Inkton Erie. You're watching Inked and Eerie on IMTV. I just wanted to be unique. I, I wanted something custom. I wanted something bold. I was so impressed with it when he drew it up. It was like way better than I thought it was ever going to be. All right, you ready for the big reveal? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm excited. What you think? Oh, sweet. 
Love it. Love cool. it. Love it. Can't wait to work on it some more. I'm liking that rack idea, the rack in the pond and the down here. Some sweet. rocks crashing up on the, the water crashing up on the rocks would be pretty cool if you nice. back piece. Yeah, I could Very impressed. Sweet. Awesome. You're awesome, Instagram Sam. What so. happened? With, what happened with the frog? What happened last time you worked on this area? Why is this unfinished? Mike? And, um, I tapped out because I was a pussy, and <laughs> an hour and a half into it, I uh, felt <laughs> that I couldn't take it anymore, and. Holy shit, I remember exactly how that felt and how much pain it was. And I broke a pair of headphones and yeah. All pain has to be measured with pleasure. If you want it, you have to go through it. I... Pain is temporary, ink is forever. Pain is eternal, ink is... There's no philosophy, you just want the tattoo done. <laughs> How many sessions has this been, Melissa? Like, what what number session would this be? Do you know? Throughout the entire sleeve, it'd be... Seven? Eight? Really? Really. Seven? Probably eight, yeah. So we're, today, you're gonna do the, or Melissa's gonna do the section that you had to stop at before. Yeah. Holy hell. Is there any <laughs> chance that... That I'll tap out this time? <laughs> yeah. Possibly, maybe no. Uh, I've come to terms where... <laughs> it's something that has to be done because this is the only opportunity. So yeah. You better suck it up. One well, of the difficult things well, about being a tattoo artist is that a lot of us have personally experienced really difficult areas that are painful, but we're able to get through it, and that's what puts us in the tattoo community. And our clients aren't always on that same page. Yeah. When you talk about broad color, what does that mean? Um, broad color is wide open areas to where we just put uh, waves of color as opposed to really fine detail and itty bitty little areas that have to be filled in. Um, broad color is just a, a large array of needles that fill in a large space as if it were a huge paintbrush wide open spaces that need to be filled. So it's actually a different tool than you would use for something like line work or more intricate shading. Yes. Line work is, is achieved with a fine grouping of needles that, that form a really sharp point and it feels sharp. It feels like a cut and it is dragged along the skin to create a line and it's, it's typically a really sharp cutting sensation. Whereas broad color is a huge area that's done with a mass of needles that's similar to the bed of nails theory, to where a whole bunch of needles filled into a space is less painful than one sharp needle. What's your opinion on that, Mike? Which is not the case of what I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah, no, it's <laughs> nothing like that. It feels like a... Uh, it does feel like a dragging pain, but a tolerable pain. Like right now, it. What are you feeling right now? It just feels like a nothing 
too intense, but a dragging, ripping pain. Sounds severe. It is severe because of the severity of the experience. <laughs> You know, I can feel how deep she digs her needle at times. And I don't at all. When she's really delicate, you know, because I'm a pussy. And... <sighs> I'm sorry. I can be done whenever you want to be done. My situation is fucking vain that... was intense it was uh, raw it was very uh, delicate <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm satisfied where we're stopping and I will proceed in the next three hour session at a later date at a later date <laughs> A piece this big just can't be done at once. So Tom, tell me about the ink you're getting today. Today's ink is uh, Japanese symbols meaning inner peace. Last couple years have been rather atrocious and just totally want to start over, man. Can you tell me about the journey? Oh. Too much shit happened. <laughs> too much. Way too much, man. So, just found the inner peace again. I'm not gonna let anybody take my happiness again. Dwelling on the negativity, it's not worth it. Just not worth it. Move on, carry on, carry over. Commit Harry Carry. <laughs> Otherwise, hell no, man. I wanna mark this as a turning point. The guy wants to get inner peace on his body, and that's a very Buddhist concept. The fact that he wanted to do it in Chinese on his own is uh, really a cool concept. And then he said he wanted to add something else to it. Well, I'm like, well, the things that really represent, you know, Chinese culture and Buddhist culture are, you know, chi balls, which chi is you use it to meditate and calm yourself down and, and center yourself, and then. Uh, the uh, cherry blossoms are very oriental in their own right, so they should pop this off real nice. And they're contrast colors to the chi balls, so should make it stand out a little bit more. And for those of you in TV land who didn't notice, I'm 20 pounds lighter than the last time you saw me. That's cool.
What do you think, Tom? Amazing shit. Inner peace has been found. Good shit. Is it what you're hoping for? Absolutely, man. Plus. Mark. Inked and Erie. Bay City all day. Coming this season on Inked and Erie.